Cowboys 31, Packers 35. What do you make of the game, James? Well, I think it was just Aaron Rodgers showing his quality again with the last minute touchdown to, well, last minute, I said last second touchdown to Devon Adams, who amazingly came back from that concussion against the Bears a week before. I mean, what did you make of the game? It was just Aaron Rodgers being Aaron Rodgers. Um, Dak Prescott also had a good game, to be fair to him. Um, yeah, good game overall. Yeah, it's actually like the um, playoff game earlier in the year in January. I said on the previous video that I don't think it was going to be like that, but it ended up being like that. Um, ended up being one of the games of the week, rightly so, as I put it. But what I was picking up from the Packers was their running game is much improved. Even you know with without time on Gumbry, a bit worried that they might have cut the ball running, but Aaron Jones getting it done with two hundred twenty-one yards and a TD. 123 yards, sorry, I was looking at Aaron Rodgers' stats there. Got a little uh, sheet with all the stats on there. But yeah, Aaron Jones proven that he can be a, the guy to run the football. Yeah, it's his first week, isn't it? Hmm. Good first week, definitely. Uh, Ty Montgomery's already back, I'm, I'm hearing. So they definitely have a good running game there now. Yeah, I think this gives them an option to use Ty Montgomery more as a receiving back rather than a straight running back. I know he's been getting used to rushing the football obviously transitioning from wide receiver into a running back and he'd done that very well but now like the common trend is with the NFL you're seeing quarterbacks using their running backs as wide receivers and I can see the Packers doing that I don't see any reason to take Aaron Jones out of the side Packers potential NFC title NFC North title wrapped up by next week when they play the Vikings away I mean, I was watching the Bears Vikings game. None of them sides particularly struck me as devastating offensively. Mitch Trubisky looked all right, but kind of faded throughout that game. We'll see. Yeah, you could. You de- you, they've definitely got the division. They've got one hand on the division, you'd say. Going back to the running game, if a team has a good running game, it also helps the passing game because the defence has to both prepare, not just for a throw, but for a, a run. So. Aaron Rodgers probably thankful that they've got you know that 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 departure from throwing that they can if the defense are set up to cover a long throw run it 10 yards if the defense are ready to pounce on a runner throw it over the top it's so it's a win-win really having good running backs yeah, and it's back to back home defeats for the Dallas Cowboys in a very competitive division do you think the Cowboys fans should be worried for the future, no. For this season, yes. I think with Dak Prescott, he's only going to get better. For Ezekiel Elliott, he's only going to get better. But for this season, I don't know what's happened, but they they really look weak, really, especially compared to last year. I think it's the inability to close out games. I think the defence really had to step up on this drive. You know, the first Aaron Rodgers in the past, maybe just one stop, stopping him maybe put the blitz on him um, all I can say is they've had tough matchups they've played the Broncos away which is never an easy place to go Packers at home the only one that you probably criticised them for losing was the Rams game last weekend but the Rams have made a decent start they'll they'll be in it about the fight for the division until the end I feel strong division mm. very strong division so yeah maybe 